there's another guy named Ferrier who was a mathematician and did celestial mechanics. And he basically made celestial mechanics uh, a success as a field and respected by doing the following thing. He basically used the formulas of Kepler and Newton. He calculated the uh, orbit of Uranus and found that there were discrepancies in that orbit from those, those uh, theories, those formulas. And he predicted then that it was because there was a missing planet, Neptune, which is the name that he gave it, that it was missing. And he predicted then where it would be, because otherwise it wouldn't fix the problem. So he predicted where it would be. The story goes that then he sent a letter to an astronomer in, in Germany, in Berlin, and it took five days for the letter to get there. He took into account those five days. He knew how long it would take. The astronomer got the letter. This is the story, at least. The astronomer got the letter. He then looked up at the sky and the place that, uh, uh, that was predicted by Ferrier. And within one degree, he found Neptune. He went on. He's the guy that saw that Mercury had an orbit that wasn't quite right. So he tried the same idea on Mercury. So whether the Newton theory is right or not, he said, OK, it's going to be just like Neptune and Uranus, and there's something missing. He called that Vulcan. And uh, he said it will either be a small planet or maybe a series of small objects that were between Mercury and the Sun. He predicted what they were. He gave them the name. And uh, they've never been found. They've been looked for even by NASA in recent years, but they've never been seen. Of course, they were reinvented for Star Trek. 